Hello kids, welcome to history class. Today's topic is Nana Olumu of Ishakiri. Nana Olumu of Ishakiri was born in the year 1852. He was an Ishakiri chief who became the governor of the Bini River after the death of his father. In 1884, Nana Olumu, the fourth governor of Bini River, signed a treaty on behalf of the Ishakiri, granting the British further rights in Ishakiri land. He signed the treaty to ensure that trade goes on well between the British and the Ishakiri people. This is a, a picture of Nana and the British, why they signed the treaty nana olomu was a chief and a famous warrior in ishakiri land he was known for his numerous fighting this is the symbol of nana of ishakiri a tiger and a man walking through it this is the badge of the shakiris this is Nana Olomu of Ishakiri at his palace, molded in the entrance of his palace. This also is Nana of Ishakiri being guarded by soldiers. This was one of the British men that came to Nana Olomu for peace. Nana Olomu was a well-known man who spread across the land and this is his family this also is the community where he ruled and these are the people of his communities these are some notable people in the land while nana of ishakiri was the governor of the benin river the relations weakened and agreement broke, which led to a big fight between Chief Olomu and the British. What this is telling us is that the British and Nana of Olomu got into a fight because the British wanted more. This is the entrance of the palace of Nana Olomu of Ishakiri. This is the front view and this is the side view. As you enter into the palace, you see a sculpture of Nana Olomu in front and at the side. This place has turned into a monumental museum, keeping the arts and crafts of Nana of Ishakiri. These are some many items in the palace of Nana of Ishakiri. He had so many figurines, crafts, and art of different kinds. Nana Olum, a chief who had so many things. This is the Nana Living History Museum, Perko. This is a visitor visiting the museum. And these are notable people in the museum. This is a photo arcade. These are some instruments in the museum. This is a royal seat. These are lanterns and torches used by Chief Nana. This is also a big pot used in cooking. These are the plates called Bamako. This is a golden jug used in seven chief nana and this is a golden pot. He also had a lot of golden jars that he used for its own collections. This is the palace dining table and these are some of his collections. This is a touch and 
this is a candle stand this is a mug this is a chefing dish and these are rifles all of these materials and instruments were used by the famous chief Nana Olumu of Ishakiri. He single-handedly built this palace and up to now it has served as a beautiful episode to remember. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.